Um, I wanted to ask you which ones are you using. Well, I'll probably take the small ones and use them. You can take them and use them. We'll use them. Out, out there. Okay. Right where we're going. And then just measure these. Up. About eight feet. Okay. Uh, this one. This one's so good. What'd you say? You're gonna use that? Yeah, this is so good. Hey. Start. You know, are you heard it all about the tires? Going through it? Yeah. Let's see what happens. Well, we got a hot day up here in Alaska, working on getting some logs out of the back of our property. We actually ended up making a little trail through our bog. We don't really like to drive through the bog because it damages it a lot, but we wanted to access these trees. So we made a little trail. It's getting pretty muddy. We're using some of the little slabs that we've cut off from the sawmill. We're making kind of like a little bridge over there. So we're gonna keep adding to that. Hopefully that'll work out for us. Worked pretty good on the first pass through, but we've already hauled out like 10 logs yesterday. We've cut quite a few trees down in here. These are all dead trees. Uh, we're in the middle kind of, or at the start of working on a huge project over by the Connex. We'll kind of show you guys that in a little bit, but we're gonna fill up the chainsaw and we're gonna take down a few more trees because we need a lot more and we're gonna be hauling them over across the bog. Do you need anything? Here, can you put this like in a safe spot? Cause it kept so it doesn't over. Dip. I'll put it right here. Here, this too. I'll put it in some. Thanks. Going chaps today. Tightened up for a twig. <laughs> Maybe that was you. Maybe, yeah.
something out of it, just not maybe that much. Not really. Otherwise, it'll be firewood. Well, that didn't work that time. Like I said, we've already hauled like 10 logs out. What happened was our little bridge that we built this time, it caught the back end of the logs and pulled them off. So I think we're gonna redo the bridge. We're not gonna put it like crossways on the tracks. We're gonna put it in the in the little ruts for now. And we'll see if that works. I was getting pretty muddy there. It was getting pretty hard to haul the logs through. And to haul these logs, we've been using this little sled. This isn't the one that we bought over the winter. It's the same kind. It's a little bit shorter. One of our friends, he didn't he didn't want this anymore, and he gave it to us. And these are UHMW plastic, so they're just like super tough. So we just strap the logs on this little sled, and we pull them through the bog, and we pull them across the gravel, and it's working pretty good. But we're gonna put these logs back on here, and then we're gonna go get some more.
Okay, tiring day of work. It's slow getting these logs over to where we need them. Uh, I think it's probably about eight o'clock now. And all in all today, including this one, I think we got like eight to 10 logs. We're gonna pretty much be peeling all those logs and we're gonna use this big one I have right here. It's like five feet long. It's kind of rotten in the middle. We're gonna use this or we're gonna try to use it as like a log peeling station. We've been using little saw horses and it's not working very well. And we got a bunch of logs we're gonna be peeling. So we're gonna try to make like a real sturdy stand for them. It's pretty nice having these trees here, even though it is a pain. Uh, all these trees are on our property and they're dead. So not only do we get to use them for projects like this, but um, these trees are like a huge fire danger here and they're gonna fall over eventually. A lot of them have already fallen over. And when they fall over, they kind of just rot. And then, you know, after they've been on the ground for a while, they're not really good for anything, firewood, lumber, nothing. So they just sit there and they rot. So we're making some good use out of these trees. We're gonna pull this last one out of here and I'm pretty sure we're gonna call it quits for the night because I'm exhausted. All right, we're getting started this morning on peeling our logs. We need 10 posts for this project, so we have quite a bit of work to do today. Eric and I picked out our posts and we're just going along them, getting off some of the loose bark. These are trees that were already dead, so they're, they're called beetle kill around here, and the bark just usually just falls off. You do have to peel some of it off, but it's not like a live tree. In fact, it's much harder, so it's not very effective. Um, but once you're done, you get this really cool look. We need a few that are 12 feet or a little over, and then we need a few that are 13 feet. These are all white spruce trees. Sadly, those were the ones to get pretty much devastated by all those beetles. So those are the ones we're taking down first. And Eric's gonna be preparing the logs, getting them, you know, all the nubs off with his chainsaw, maybe even hitting them with an ax or the shovel. Found uh, the shovel works really well uh, to get some of the loose bark off. I wanna get one of those spades or those I think they're called like a debarking spud. I want to get one of those and then we have our draw knife and our draw knife we've had for a few years and it works awesome. So we're going to get working.
Well, we got the logs done. We got 10 logs peeled, and I'm not gonna lie, they look pretty good. Uh, I love the look of a nice peeled log. We've built tons of projects around here out of these types of logs. It actually wasn't that hard this time. The trees were like extremely dead. So I was able to just go along with a shovel, scrape off most of the bark. Ariel would come in with the draw knife and she would finish it off. We have eight of them that are 12 feet long. We got two that are like 13 and a half feet long. Let's talk about the project that we're using these for. We are over here by the Connex and basically what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using these logs. We're also gonna be using some lumber from the sawmill that we're gonna cut later on. And we're gonna build some lean-tos. The Connex is 20 feet long. We're gonna do a lean-to on this side that's 12 feet by 20 feet. And on the other side of the Connex, we're going a little bigger. We're doing 12 feet wide by 40 feet long. And these are gonna be like semi-enclosed, kind of like our woodshed build. They're basically gonna be for like winter storage. We can put the boat under there, trailers, Polaris, snow blower, whatever we want out of the snow. We've already moved the Connex. We did that in a previous video. We've already brought in a lot of gravel. We've run 120 yards. We use our friend's tractor to spread all out. So this is all ready and I believe the next step is we're gonna burn the end of these logs. I've scraped up and raked up all of the wood chips and the uh, bark from these logs and we're gonna start a little fire. We're gonna burn all 10 of these logs. him in old age, huh? Oh god, that one went. Heat wave. Hot out of here. finished burning the logs and we're just going to spray them off real quick to get them cleaned up and cool them down. It's a very hot day and we successfully burnt the ends of them. We've only done this once before but it definitely makes a big difference in the posts as far as making them more water repellent and more likely to last longer in the ground. Again, we haven't done it more than once so I can't really say how much longer they last but I do know that it would probably last a little bit longer than if you just stuck a post directly in the ground. 
So we're going to spray them off and then the next step is going to be digging holes, unfortunately. We're both beat today, so we're going to come back to that, of course. Some dirt yep. I don't think I think you'll hit bog before you hit dirt. This one's 22 inches already. Oh my gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing, I hit the tree and then I didn't hit the tree the next time and it went down like eight inches low. <laughs> trying to bite you too. There's a fly trying to get you. This thing has so much more power now. <laughs> well, I was just about to say battery power is not really the way to go here. Oh my gosh. I'm blessed. Can I dig anything else out? Just this one. Oh, I'm hitting like actual brown dirt. Oh. Yeah. So you're just carving a hole with the silver? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> it must be a root. Like an entire root. <laughs> Three done. Each one of these holes had its own set of problems. That one had a huge rock in it. These one had roots that we had to cut. We got our three posts in, and that's these are the only posts we need on this side. So we got to go to the other side, and we got to do seven over there because that one's going to be 40 feet long. This side's only going to be 20 feet long. So we're still working. that when you no okay this is 
seem right to me. It doesn't seem wide enough. Well, it's hot out here. I think it's gonna be in the 80s today. And for some reason we thought it'd be fun to dig these holes. But we're almost done and they look really good. I think we're doing a really good job measuring them out. This is gonna be 40 feet, this section, this lean-to, and that's to park dose trailers, two trailers, or just extra equipment and stuff. So it's gonna be pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. We just gotta get it built though. <laughs> Because here, it actually be a good reason to have that there. You know what I mean? We already have a view there. Yeah. Like right here, then. I mean, the hole's good, but let's just make it a little more like right here. Is that cool? Sure. Good in there. Jeez, that's where, that's where I was thinking. I knew something was off there. So that one should probably be 269. It like suctioned in there. <laughs> it's like it's like right for RV parking or something. Like some that was truck. a tall one. This has been quite the project. Errol and I are both exhausted. It may only be like 80 degrees today, but when you live up here in Alaska, that is, it feels like it's over hundred. It's extremely hot. We took a break and uh, took the dogs out, went down to the creek. We came back and worked on this. We got all the posts in their holes. Uh, we still need to stand them up straight and pack them all in. These things are like super tall. And that's because I cut them uh, to a longer length than we needed. We didn't want to end up with posts that were too short. So we're probably gonna end up taking like two or three feet off each one of these. It's not gonna be this tall, but we are gonna end up with about nine feet, eight inches between the posts of like usable kind of carport space. Um, and we have metal roofing we're gonna put on it. So we're gonna have nice cover over here uh we're gonna get these poles kind of as straight as we can we pretty much just eyeball them and we're gonna tamp them in with some gravel uh uh <laughs> oh you're tilted a little away from me yeah oh gosh you're not gonna hit me with that are you does it really matter but you're tilted the post gotta go that way to the board that's good right there. It's perfect? Yeah. So it doesn't have to go in and out more than you It doesn't move much if you do that. Well, let's just get a little in. It is straight, especially because you're going to cut off that top. It maybe could go back just a hair. But I think that's pretty straight. Like that. You see how I'm gonna push on with my belly? Yeah. That's awesome. Use with use what you got, yeah. Whoa, that's wicked, man. What do you mean? I like that we bring them up a little higher oh. this time. Yeah, it's pretty cool, you guys. Let's see it. Nice.
those rocks are right at the edge, but I have to come out anyways. I'd say we burned them high enough. Yeah, we did, right? Must have been the reason why you didn't go there. Yep. That is a root. You just got the whole thing out. Look at that. Whoa. It's probably going to stay pretty soon, huh? Okay, nine posts done out of the 10. We're on this last one. We did have to pull out a couple of the posts and, and dig the holes a little further out because our measurements were a little bit off, but it's looking really good. It's gonna be like a, a log cabin lean-to of some sort. So we're, we're already pretty excited on the, how this thing's turning out. There's still a lot more work to do. Uh, like I said, we gotta finish this last one. We are going to be milling all the lumber for this project. We think we have enough logs. If not, we're gonna have to go back in the woods again and we're gonna have to get some more. We are gonna have to move the solar panel because that's on the side and we need it on the front. We're gonna have to re-level the connex, make sure that's absolutely perfect. We're gonna have to put metal roofing on. We got a ton of stuff to do. So I think we're gonna finish this post. We're gonna call it quits for tonight. And next time we pick back up on this project, I think the next step is milling some lumber. So we're gonna get some, some sawmill time in. That room is whole, huh? I know. Well, it's a thick post. She's a thick post. I don't think she's going to be going there. No. That's one of the nicest posts around. We're going to need to get a little. Can you get okay? Good job. Good job to you. Hard work. I really like this post, honey. This way you'll have someone to park all your equipment. Yep.